everybody! Welcome to Cooking with Grandmommy here. We are in my kitchen on a beautiful summer day and I hope you are enjoying your summer. We're going to do a couple of fun things today for one of those little summer soirees where you'd like to step out on the deck and just share some yummy food. Because remember that Grandmommy's house food is all about love and everyone is welcome. So let's get cooking. <laughs> So today we're going to work on a couple of different cheese balls. You know, something you don't have to cook, something that's simple to put together, and it's very tasty. So I'm going to do one that you might call like a main course cheese ball because it has chicken. And then we're going to do a dessert cheese ball, strawberry cheesecake. Yum! So it's something you could quickly put together if friends are coming over and have some lemonades of different flavors, some of your favorite beverages, but it's simple to do easy, mobile, take it out, out to the deck, out to the patio, and everybody loves it. Even kids will like this. So let's get started with the first one. This is a chicken cheese ball. So we're gonna start with eight ounces of cream cheese, and you wanna have it out at room temperature so it's softened. Then we're gonna add about one cup of chicken. Now what I'm using today is just a can of white chicken breast. You can get this anywhere, and this is a 10 ounce can. And what you want to do, I have it in here because I drained all the juice off. So I'm going to add that into the cream cheese. Next step is adding some chicken bouillon. Here's what a little box looks like in the store. You can also buy it in jars and scoop it out by tablespoons. The recipe calls for two, one to two tablespoons depending on the amount of flavor you want. This box, it's cut up in little squares that are about a tablespoon each. So I'm going to put two of these in. I like a lot of chicken flavor in mine. And this one, then I'm just going to use a wooden spoon here and just mix all this together. My cream cheese is nice and soft. It's pretty easy to stir up. I'm going to use the edge of the spoon here to like break up the bouillon cubes. Make sure that it gets mixed in well. Some uh, bouillon is in powdered granules. Some is in liquid form. It's handy to have around sometimes, like let's say a recipe calls for chicken broth and you don't have any, then just check the side of your bouillon jar or your box and it will tell you how many cubes or how many tablespoons to add to some warm water and make your own broth. So it's just convenient and easy to keep around. So mixing this up, and it's mixing up pretty quickly. Such a beautiful day. We have had some great weather, haven't we? The Lord has blessed us with just lovely days now that we're getting out a little bit more. And uh, hallelujah, kids can go out and play and parks are open. This is a good thing. So I've got the chicken and the cream cheese pretty well mixed, but my bouillon is not quite as tiny as I want. So I'm going to keep kind of pressing that down and breaking it up. Now remember too, when you make something like this, I'm giving you a basic recipe, but if you wanted to sprinkle some garlic powder in here, or if you like things a little spicy, some chili powder or hot sauce, um, you can always add something to make it personalized for the way you and your family like flavors. All right, so I think I've pretty well got that bouillon chopped. So here's a note for you and for me the next time I do it. I'm going to put my little bouillon cubes in a small container. And I'm going to chop them up with a fork before I throw them in here. That'll take a little bit less elbow grease to get this all stirred up together. All right. Now, I'm going to get a piece of wax paper. I'm going to roll this in some chopped nuts. You can use pecans or almonds. Tastes pretty good with the chicken. I have slivered almonds, which I keep around the house. So I'm going to pour those out into the wax paper. Get all this goodness out of the bowl here. Miss Sugar's home! My puppy! Alright. Let's 
just get all this out. Set it right here. Get those almonds up around. And shape it into a ball. I'm using my wax paper to keep some of the mess off my hands, but now we're going to jump right in. Gotta roll this over. Get the almonds on the underside. Isn't that looking pretty and yummy? All right, so next step is we're going to stick this in the fridge so that cream cheese can harden. And it will be ready to serve shortly. Stick this in the fridge. I'll be right back. All right, now we have our chicken cheese ball, the main course is in the fridge and the cheese, the cream cheese is firming up. So for the second course of our summer soiree on the deck, we're going to do a dessert cheese ball. This one is also going to include cream cheese, eight ounce pack, uh, have it out at room temperature. This one is going to be strawberry cheesecake. So in addition to the cream cheese, we're going to add a tablespoon of sugar, two tablespoons of sour cream, and one teaspoon of vanilla flavoring. These ingredients, we're gonna use the mixer to combine here because we want that sugar to be thoroughly incorporated and not granular. And then we'll stir in our strawberries. So let me get the cream cheese, the sugar, the sour cream, and the vanilla all mixed up. All right, so. We have this all mixed up, and here's how it looks, nice and creamy, smells good, that vanilla flavoring in there. So this is the sour cream, sugar, vanilla flavoring, and cream cheese. So that's the base. Now I have about three-fourths cup of sliced strawberries, and really you could put in more or less, whatever you have available. And we're going to just stir those in with this spatula. Come on out of there. And I sliced them kind of like this. Not just half slices, but a little bit smaller than that, just so they'll stir in better. Ooh, can you say strawberry cheesecake? The easy way. Ooh, that's looking pretty, isn't it? I hope you were able to get out and pick some fresh Michigan strawberries. They were so good. Season has ended. I went out twice. I ended up picking hmm, a little over 40 pounds. So we've had some really good strawberry treats and then of course the freezer has got some good strawberry treats in there. Nothing like fresh, fresh everything, right? Alright, so I have my strawberries mixed in. And this one, we're going to coat it with cinnamon graham crackers, right? Because your cheesecake would have a graham cracker crust. So I have put my graham crackers in this little bag and just crunched them up with my hands, with my fingers. So pour it out here on my wax paper. Spread it around just a bit. Now I'm gonna pour the cheesecake mixture here onto the cracker crumbs. These are cinnamon grams, but you know, you could even add a little extra, maybe a fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon into those crackers before you coat it, if you like that flavor in your cheesecake. Cinnamon is one of those good all around flavors that not only tastes good, but man, if you're baking something with cinnamon in it, it fills the whole house up with a wonderful aroma. All right, so take my wax paper up around this, start shaping it a little, pressing those crumbs on. Now we'll turn it over and get the other side. 
you can see this is not very time consuming. The most time consuming part will be uh, letting it set once you put it back in the fridge so that this softened cream cheese can, can set up. All right, so there we have it. A strawberry cheesecake ball with its own crust made out of crushed up graham crackers. How easy can it get? All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it begin to set up. Time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. We have a chicken cheese ball. We're going to add a little bit of that. Let me serve up my guests for this afternoon soiree with some chicken cheese ball and a few crackers, of course. And then let's add some dessert, all right? Let's use some of this yummy strawberry cheesecake cheese ball. We'll put that next to the chicken. See, we've covered all the basic food groups, right? We have cheese, we have protein, we have fruit, and we're gonna serve this on our cinnamon grams. Lovely weather, a lovely deck, tasty lemonades, and delicious foods and it was very quick and easy to make. I thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time. Now I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this food. Bye-bye.